Yep. All right, welcome. Come on in. Doing a little art show tour in the Eagle House, Eureka, California. Sacred Geometry in the Lotus, featuring the creation patterns from both East and West, the Genesis pattern and the Shri Yantra right in the center there. And also the Lotus Flower, symbolizing the transition of the human soul from the murky depths of materialism through the waters into the bright light of enlightenment. All right, this is the wave of free freedom and creativity. Painted live at Music and Sky Festival, July 4th, 2021, I think. <laughs> New live painting style of getting a little more loose and playful with these waves and this <laughs> thrown paint in the sky, some stencil work. So you'll see as we move along here, and this whole wave series is playing along with that theme, playing in the waves. A couple more along those lines. These are all pieces that I made after being inspired at that festival, finally painting live after being in the, the lockdowns of 2020. So it was a big, big release to be able to be out in public painting to music. Triantra, big wave. This is custom hexagon canvas made by my friend, Stephen Michael Saturn, shout out, <laughs> at Koala Canvas. And so yeah, we got the Sri Yantra, the, the union of masculine and feminine polarities coming together, the upwards facing triangle being the masculine, the downward facing triangle being the feminine, coming together to create the universe. Lots more to be said about the Sri Yantra, but we don't have time for it. <laughs> uh, we're going through this ocean theme and then all of a sudden, boom, the moose. He's just, he's up in the Teton Mountains, but um, this is his wall, so we ain't nothing to be done about it. He's gonna get some ocean time, some beach time, much needed beach time after living a cold life up in the mountains. Uh, so moose energy, moose symbolism, symbolism. <laughs> Uh, represents its its big energy, big power, standing tall, proudly, and also basically being at the top of the food chain. The moose ain't afraid of nobody. Uh, there's also a strong water connection, so it's, uh, yeah, connection with that. It's simultaneously a very powerful masculine creature, especially these these big antlered uh, male moose, but there's also a strong water connection, feminine connection. So maybe that's why it's next to all these ocean waves. Uh, here we got the sunset wave with crimson stripe. We got surfing big energy waves over here. Uh, this one is another live painting that I did. This one at Oozel Festival, uh, right near my house on the Smith River. Beautiful. Beautiful spot, beautiful time, and had a lot of fun really getting into throwing some paint around, just getting playful and drippy with all these all these colors and styles here. Uh, the last night of that festival, it just rained and rained and rained, so the painting was still wet. You can kind of see how it uh, basically <laughs> dripped down, and I was doing some of that on purpose too, so I ended up just fitting along with the style I was working with. I was also, I was teaching a bunch of kids how to throw paint. So they really enjoyed watching that process happen of just putting a whole, putting a whole pile of paint on a palette knife and just whoosh, throwing it up there. Super fun way to do it. And a little guy, moon wave with honeycomb sunset. I like this idea of the, of the, the moon pushing and pulling the tides. Uh, and creating these massive waves here down on Earth. All right, moving along. We have here one of my favorite pieces of all time. This is Buffalo walking headfirst into the wind. The full title, Buffalo walking headfirst into the wind, imagining a clear blue lake. So you can see there's a powerful plain storm in his face and the buffalo understands fastest way to go through this storm is 
straight ahead into the wind. He's got his vision clearly in his mind. A clear blue lake. He is going to get a nice, delicious drink of water. <laughs> and that is within the seed of life pattern here in the center. Uh, so yeah, you'll notice that this one is one of my favorite paintings. I'm Perhaps we'll sell it one day, but you'll see that the price here is quite significantly higher than any of the other works I have here uh, because it is the most magical, powerful of all the paintings on display here. Now, although this one may be a close second, this one is, it's titled Real NFT. NFT stands for Narwhal Freedom Token. So this guy is, this was, this is one of my spirit animals, the narwhal. I'll just get, <laughs> lean up here on the, <laughs> the narwhal. Uh, so you can see this is kind of my, my journey as the narwhal from the bright lights and the, the ocean sunset of Santa Monica on this side, uh, through this kind of like uncertainty into the uh, sacred geometric portal of the Sri Yantra. So a lot of people don't know, but the actual the narwhal, actually what it does with those tusks, it just goes around making portals all over the ocean. So lots of symbolism with the narwhal, diving deep under the surface into the mystery, into the unknown, uh, piercing through the veil of illusion to reveal the magical, mysterious nature of reality. And it's also an animal that will not live in captivity so I believe that they have the same motto as the state of New Hampshire. Live free or die. If you look closely on this guy, you'll see that right at the end there, uh, I decided I need to put a more clear eye on it. Placed the eye and I was like, oh, I don't know if I got this in the right place. Better throw a nice smiley face on there to lighten it up. So <laughs> you can see one of the last things I did here was add that add that special smile. You can see there was also some, some paint throwing techniques on this one. All of these, all these splatters are thrown paint going off the edge of the canvas there. So that's the Narwhal Freedom Token. Here I have this series of 10 by 20 uh, wave pieces on this geometric wave series. Just more playful light geometric explorations. And here we have my newest work, which is titled Unicorn with a Wave in His Heart. So if you look closely, you will see there is indeed a wave in his heart. This painting used to be just this big wave with a mountain in the background. And me and my daughter Coral, will just, we're just talking and we had the realization that we needed to have a large unicorn painting. Uh, so we actually painted this together. You can see a couple of her brush strokes and, and uh, she helped me do the horn as well. If you look up right here, you can see that green, <laughs> that green coming through there. That's a coral stroke, coral brush stroke. <clears throat> and so yeah, the unicorn with a wave in his heart, the narwhal of the land. What's up with the unicorn? What else? It's it's power and grace. It has some some similar symbolism as the narwhal. And um, yeah, basically they're also a symbol symbol of purity, uh, mystery, magic, mythology, all that good stuff. So yeah, that was a that was a painting that just was. Totally had a different theme around it, and then all of a sudden it happened to be perfect for the unicorn background. Uh, this one here is the Dove Phoenix. This is a autobiographical in a sense, you could say, the, uh, the edge between Libra and Scorpio, Libra being the Dove and Scorpio being Phoenix. So you can see they're kind of, those themes are superimposed on each other. I also have two paintings like this, or of the same theme. One of them is more on the Scorpio side, which is this one. You can see there's more of the Phoenix energy. And the other one is more of the, the, the Libra scales with the Venus. So it's Mars and Venus. 
All right, so getting into some of the canvas prints, this little one here is called Skier Surfing the Mountain Wave. Another title for that is Skier, Painting a Skier, Painting the Mountains. So that's a, that's a picture of me there, creating mountains with a spray of my skis. You can also see there's a little narwhal up here, piercing through the veil of illusion, uh, surfing on the mountain wave. Next one there is an Einstein piece called Think About It. That was a, a commission piece that I created uh, up on a mountainside, or I finished it up on a mountainside. I, I was close to having it completed, and I said, all right, I'm gonna go up on the side of this mountain, and I'm not gonna come down until I finish this painting. <laughs> so that's, that's how that one got finished. You can see I kind of first started exploring this concept of making a wave with lines, those geometric waves. That was one of the first places where I did that, so. A groundbreaking piece in some ways. Now, this one is a live painting I did at Totality Festival. It is called The Path of the Phoenix. So getting into more of a fun, playful, loose style. I had the whole weekend to make this painting, but I literally completed it in a couple hours because I just, I don't know, I just, <laughs> it was done. So I got to play around, dance around, meet people. And Path of the Phoenix, it got that name because uh, I ended up talking to a lot of Scorpio people and Scorpio Rising people during that weekend. And one of those people was telling me a story about how she is a Scorpio Rising and she literally lit herself on fire while, while fire dancing late at night. And so part of her Phoenix transformation was this very literal... Uh, <laughs> Phoenix moment, Phoenix rebirth moment, and it was kind of like a wake-up call, a transformational time for her. So yeah, that's all in there, and some cute little mushrooms here too. Just happened to, just happened to show up like that. Uh, this one is the never-ending drawing. Tons of symbolism to get into on this one. What do we got, 12 minute long video? Nice, simple as. So Ouroboros, the the snake as in the form of a Celtic knot on the right hand side and then the infinite hourglass on the left hand side an hourglass within an hourglass within an hourglass the mountains of time creating the mountains of time uh, in the center of the circle it is a larger mandala circle mandala created by smaller circles all coming together in the arcs of the circle being used to create the petals of the lotus Remembering now that the lotus represents the path of the human soul from the murky depths of materialism through the waters into the bright light. You can see the signs of the zodiac passing around, uh, starting from Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, fire, earth, air, water. Uh, you can also see that the center of this mandala is a picture of the whole. So as above, so below, as within, so without. A uh, picture of itself inside of itself, uh, representing the fractal nature of reality on every scale. And you can also see the, the yin and the yang uh, disappearing into the distance, coming into the light, the, the union of opposites. And then you'll see also that there is a narwhal in the sky at some point in this painting. Oh, it looks like he's popping up over the edge there. And then you can you also see the mountains are made up out of planets and words. So all the planets are there and then there's human beings traveling uh, in the mountains of time, two lovers on a mountaintop, two people riding bikes down the ridge, people meditating on the mountaintops and infinite love is actually the answer. All right, that's that one. A couple more here. Right. A couple of classic classics here. We got giraffe geometry. Just really one of my favorite pieces. The giraffe, of course, is representing the basically uh, seeing the elevated perspective while keeping your feet on the ground. Uh, head in the sky, feet on the ground. No, sorry, head in the clouds, feet on the ground. 
If I could do a South African accent, I'd be doing it. But all I got is this Aussie New Zealand uh, mashup. So yeah, it's a giraffe family. This is the 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 patriarch and the mother caring for the child. These are probably some some weird aunts or uncles or something on the side there. <laughs> and yeah. See, there's kind of like this this funny face here, and you can also see that it kind of looks like this giraffe just took a big drink of water and then he went, whoosh, flicked it up in the air like that. So yeah, that's it for the giraffe. And this lady, the medicine woman, is a is a mushroom shaman. So she's calling calling forth the spirits of the land, all of the all of the um, all of the animals, and also here to remind us that we are in fact uh, completely intertwined with nature in all ways, not separate from it. Uh, so, the reminder to to take care of ourselves, take care of one another, and take care, taking care of our environment, the planet, uh, because they're inseparably, inseparably interconnected. So that's another custom hex hexagon canvas by my friend Steven. And we got the bull head on top and also the phoenix energy. Uh, so those are all those symbols. We got also the, uh, the narwhal, the, hu the honeybees, the bald eagle, and the hummingbirds. That's it. Thanks for watching my show.